Yesterday the ground was uh, underwater, ankle deep in some places in rainwater, and the crowds already making this a real occasion. Supporters from India and Pakistan have been arriving since early this morning. And the chances are that we'll uh, get through this game all right. The forecast is it's going to be overcast. There is a chance of showers, but it'll be mainly dry. Well, we're ready out here in the middle uh, for the toss. Joining me here are Mohammed Azharuddin, the captain of India, Wazim Akram, captain of Pakistan, and uh, ICC match referee Rahman Sovaro. Azhar, I believe you're going to toss the coin. Wazim, call. It's Wazim's called tails. It's come down heads. Azhar, you've won the toss. What are you going to do? Yeah, we're going to bat. Looks a pretty good pitch, doesn't it? Good wicket. You know, always Manchester has been always a good wicket, but uh, I think it's quite dry, so we'll take the first advantage and put the opposition under pressure by getting a big score. Now, it's a crunch game for you, this. If you lose, you're out of the World Cup. Well, yeah, we've got to really win this game. You know, so, uh, we, uh, we have to win both the games and then leave the calculations. Uh, and uh, you've a bit of a problem today. Sarav Ganguly's missing, I believe. Yeah, he's uh, injured his knees. He's still uh, not recovered from the last uh, couple of days. So we've got Ramesh playing. It's going to be a great atmosphere here at Old Trafford today. Uh, wish you all the best. Thanks very much. Thank okay. you. Thanks, Wasim, you going to have a bowl? Are you worried about that? Not really. I think uh, it'll be a good practice game before uh, the crunch game's coming up. Uh, we would like to chase in this game. And I think it's good to us to lose. Yeah, now you've got a little bit of extra work to do today, haven't you? Go off the back of two losses. Yeah, I think uh, I think we played okay in the last game. It was just one of those things they played. They, they came out well in the last five overs. And uh, we're going to learn from our mistakes. And I think I hope we don't uh, do them again in this game today. Any team changes today? Yeah, we have Afridi back in the side and uh, Malik is back for Yusuf. Yusuf pulled his hamstring the other day. And you'll be looking forward to playing on what's become one of your home grounds in front of a magnificent uh, crowd. Absolutely. I think uh, be, I enjoyed my 10 years at Lancashire and I'm going to enjoy today as well. OK, good luck, Wes. Thank Thanks you. very much. That's the story out here then. India have won the toss and they're going to bat first. Pakistan currently third on four points. India currently bottom without a point to their name. So India know full well they must win their last two games in this round if they're to have even the faintest chance of qualifying for the semi-finals. Pakistan want to make sure the points, want to make sure of their status in those semi-finals. The teams today, India missing Saurav Ganguly, he has a knee injury. In comes Saragapan Ramesh. Sachin Tendulkar at the top of the order there, he's going to be a major player. The Indians have been in good batting form. Raul Dravid with hundreds to his name, as are yet to really shine. Ajay Jadeja with 100 at the Oval the other day. And uh, well, they're, going need, they're going to need to back those bats from, against a strong Pakistan bowling lineup, led of course by Shoaib Akhtar. They made two changes in the team that played against South Africa. Shahid Afridi comes in for Wasti, and Salim Malik comes in again for Yusuf Yohana, who has a hamstring injury. The uh, hard, white, shiny English cricket ball in the hands of Wasim Akram and Shoaib Akhtar against the best player in the world. David Miandad and Bidrich is the only other two players to have got to that summit. That's uppish, but safe enough. Down to third man, there's no gully fielder in position. And they've even... Uh... Well, Tendulkar managed to get back, and eventually he gets his run. But uh, Sachin's like a cat on a hot tin roof at the moment. Ramesh and he have not opened together before in one-day cricket. Just sizing one another up could have been rather disastrous. Well, there really was no run in that. I think Tendulkar is uh, just feeling the pressure of not having scored of Wasim Akram. Wasim Akram's been bowling quite brilliantly. Oh, yet another milestone for the brilliant Sachin Tendulkar. 1,000 World Cup runs up and now have a look. 8,000 one-day international runs in no fewer than 217 matches. Terrific average, nearly 43, and a staggering 22 centuries. It's beaten mid on, and it's got enough power in it to uh, cross the rope. 
at last Tendulka breaks the shackles 16 for no wicket after 6 well he was quick to get onto his back foot he's a very good puller of the ball although he's a short man wasn't very short the ball but look at those uh, reactions we were talking about the minimal time for reflexes but this man has got it all that's a good shot front foot and nicely timed it was just a little bit short and that little bit of width that gave Ramesh the chance to play through the line of it he's raced away around the wicket spanked it in short gives him the width that he wanted he spanked it away timed it beautifully this is a cracking pitch it's a bitterly cold day in Manchester and that's probably significant and uh, there's not been any swing at all good shot got over it nicely got a bottom hand in that just worked it away wide of a freedy There's that time again. And Akram's just banged it in, looking for short of a length, but Ramesh has got time just to stand and deliver through mid-wicket in front. He's not pulled that behind, he's got it on the floor. You could hardly hear the appeal. David Shepherd could and ignored it. He goes through for the leg by him. Shepard told him immediately, Akram, it is a big appeal, it's pitched outside, pitched outside leg stump, would have hit, but it has pitched outside. Umpire Shepard immediately just said, not out, pitched outside. Well outside. Tendulkar and Ramesh, no Ganguly today, and that's a blow. It's a nice timer of the ball, Ramesh. Just needs to get himself a little bit further into position, but he's just a yard away from easing that one past side Anwar. Got him! That's the breakthrough, middle stump, not back. Ramesh just playing a little bit across the line of that. He looked to get it through the onside. And the breakthrough has come. Not thanks to Wazim, not thanks to Shoaib, but thanks to Abdul Razak. And Ramesh stunned. It's a full length ball. He's looking to whip it through mid wicket. Motionless, just for a second. He can't believe that it's gone through. Hit middle stump. And it's a full length delivery. That's the breakthrough. Ramesh goes for 20. And it's 37 for one. Raul Dravid has replaced Ramesh. Dravid, one of the four men of the tournament, already with two hundreds and a couple of fifties to his name. He was also one of the victims of Glenn McGrath at the Oval the other day. Well shot. Field it remarkably quick considering all the rain we've had on this ground. Yesterday the ground was a wash. The wonderfully wristy player, and that's right in his slot. It's a trademark shot of Raul Dravid. You've got to keep away from that leg side. But he's developed his offside play too productive player all round the wicket but you don't ball there to him space on the leg side for Sachin Tendulkar show back to her with a brave effort not quite enough though gave it absolutely everything you've got 
got to come off that line. New baller into the attack. You've got to keep it away for medium pace from leg stump. And timing. Extraordinary timing. Just keep the fielder interested all the way until he has to dive and palm it over. That's into the gap at mid-wicket. Clicked away by Tendulkar, that'll be four. And that's the penalty for straying too close to leg stump. It also brings up the 50 for India. 51 for one. Just the place not to be. He's fired down the leg side. Strong offside field. Best batsman in the world. Just meat and drink. Pushes it off his hip. I did well to reach that. He hadn't got bat on it. That would have been another wide, second of the over. Looking shots in the good stuff. Azim did well to get down on that. Great shot. Just a wee bit short and absolutely hammered away. Just the chance Sachin Tendulkar was waiting for between the post and authority. It's 58 for one. Oh, and that's a quick single. This will be close. Oh, it, it would have got him, I'm sure, if he hit the stumps there. That was an opportunity for Pakistan. And uh, was he Akram saying to himself and to his team, if only. Oh, straight down the ground. Beautifully played. That's one of his signature shots. Lovely straight punch down the ground. And he didn't even bother running. up there Tendulka keeps coming back two or three yards and uh, it looks as if Inzamam is down no it's not it's Wazim I was gonna say my goodness well, one thing's for sure when he's batting one person he won't want is the man stood with him there doing the running for him Inzamam what a thought In the air, over the top and four. That's a very good shot. We got the feeling, uh, last ball, last over, that he was going to start doing this. And, uh, well, that was well played. Very well played. Well, we're talking about when Sachin Tendulkar would take up the challenge. He's rather decided now's the time. Races away. Comfortably over the infield. through the field and that may run to the boundary as well no one back there yes it's going to go all the way everyone up no sweeper back right into the gap a little surprised to see no one back on the offside the mood continuing two to go this over oh he's hit that in the air this could be out got him yes he's caught him that's gone straight to the deep mid-off position well what a big wicket that is he was just beginning to look deadly dangerous and the little master has smashed it and he's not happy with himself. He's hitting his bat into the ground as he walks away. Well, that's a big wicket to Pakistan. But suddenly he's gone for 45 from 65 deliveries. It's 95 for two. Boy, the fielder, he was positioned 15 yards up by Wasim Akram and hit it right down his throat. Just one slip for Jadeja. There's that seam movement straight away. Razak looks uh, rather innocuous as he bounds into the wicket, but uh, I can tell you that's an excellent bowling action. Azar Mahmood into Jadeja. He's having real problems uh, outside his off stump. Slow ball, 
Hassan Malik chases. If Tendulkar had still been there, he'd have wanted three there. The hundreds up for India after 23 overs. Completely missed by the captain. He's been a busy man in the field. He's given away two runs there. Today to get through for a third. Rahul Dravid has had a phenomenal World Cup so far. Look at that average. Strike rate, very, very good indeed. Benjamin takes the catch. Extra bounce from uh, Azar. And once again, he's uh, damaged a finger. Getting that ball to move away from Jadeja. And Jadeja hasn't been very comfortable playing at those away swingers. And look at that take. Brilliantly taken by Nzema Muhak. Had to dive full stretch. And it's an important breakthrough. Jadeja goes for six. And India now 107 for three. Well, if there's pressure and a burden of expectancy on the Wazi Makram, what about this man, Mohamed Azaruddin? He's had a poor World Cup so far with the bat. Mahmoud getting extra bounce to dismiss Ajay Jadeja, and another excellent catch by Inzaman. Yes, Jadeja, they're opening the face of the bat. And a lovely catch by Inzaman Mulak. Had to drive full length. Pakistani fielding has been uh, absolutely top class. They really back their uh, bowlers, the Pakistani fielders. We saw that brilliant catch by Inzamam al Haq. And uh, look at this. Asrin. It jars in that position at uh, backward point on the line of gully. It was deep enough to have seen the ball. It seemed to come to him very quickly, but uh, straight through him it was. That's edged, but very safely and very quickly down towards the third man boundary. We've got someone like uh, Shoaib Akhtar bowling. When the edges come, they go quickly. That's a uh, brilliant innings from Rahul Dravid. He's 50. He's been in great touch in this World Cup and great support from the Indian crowd. Third, 50 and 200s. And he's looking very, very impressive. Nicely stopped by Said Anwar. The batsman will come back for two. After uh, again bowling a little shot at the death of the innings, he's got to pitch the ball up to the batsman. Oh dear, now we nearly have that played on. It was all happening there. At one stage, Moen must have thought he had a chance for a run out, or would it be a stumping? Yes, initially, I think Azruddin called for the single just stopped inches away from uh, going to the stumps and Rahul Dravid was uh, clearly looking to stop it going uh, hitting the stumps the right thing to do under the circumstances and Azar almost uh, topples over here as well it's nicely played and that brings the 150 up now for India approaching the end of the 38th over. In the air and taken. Afridi taking the catch. And that's a big wicket. Pakistan and at just at the right time. Yes, sir. we see Makram again delivering with Pakistan needed a wicket. Luring Rahul Dravid into that extravagant drive. This is a big wicket. Uh, we see Makram there. 
pulling it up to Rahul Dravid, who played it away from his front pad, a little on the rise and was beautifully held by Shahid Afridi. Good sharp catch and Wasim Akram is overjoyed with his effort there. Good change, paid off. Uh, Rahul Dravid goes for 61 and India 158 for 4. Robin Singh is the new batsman. Played uh, very well against Australia. Uh, the overall, he got 75 from 94 deliveries. Didn't play against England. Uh, got 35 against Zimbabwe. Pretty good form. It's gone for the big hit. It's in the air. This could be trouble. And misjudged. Really, he took a very good catch just now. I don't know, Ram. I thought he should have got to that. Yes, he reacted a little late to that shot. Uh, Azruddin using his feet and picking the straighter one nicely. But he had hit it in the gap. Shahid Afridi just a little late uh, getting down to that one. Yeah. That's right, yeah. And he's hit the stumps direct. They've asked the question, but umpire Shepherd uh, are not interested in that one. He's still in the action. Sacklane, good pick up. Azarudin just country, drops the bat in. Oh, he's hit that one well. That's way over the top. That's a big six. It's beautifully played into the crowd. A wonderful hit. Way over the top of deep mid wicket, over the fieldsman's head in that area. This is what India need. We've not a clue who they are or what they're doing here, but they're enjoying it. Robin Singh straight out of the screws over towards the railway, the tramway, the Derbyshire Hills. But it's out of here. Yes, well, he was holding it up as if he caught it. And uh, he's got onto that one. That's going all the way. Up into the crowd it goes. Well, at last he's got his bet on one. He's been trying to force it away on the onside, and that one's gone way up. So Mohamed Azradin has hit uh, the six he's been trying to hit for a while. He's got that one away, just over the top of the infield. That may well run away to the boundary for four. Will it get there? Yes, just. So Mohamed Azradin beginning to find the boundary now. He's gone to 48. Well, that's much better. He's really hit that one well. And that one's gone into the fence at extra cover. That's well played, Mohamed Azraddin. The Indian captain has brought up his half century. That's his first in this World Cup. And what's more, it brings up the 50 partnership as well. Stood still and delivered. That's well played. He's hit that one, got inside that one. The sweeper will pick it up. Salim Malik down there. Cover on the boundary. Got him. Just behind square. That one's gone straight off the meat of the bat. And Wazim Akram has got yet another wicket. And this time it's Mohamed Azadin. He went for the big drive. He had to go for it right off the middle of the bat. Ejaz fielding it backward point. Takes a pretty straightforward catch. 59 in 77. 218 for five. So Nayan Mongi is the new batsman coming into uh, a raw, wonderful atmosphere as he wandered down the steps onto this ground. He couldn't uh, help but being moved by it. Bozzy Macram, one ball to go in this over. And uh, he's a good nudger, Moen Khan, just uh, pushes that one away. So uh, he's off the mark. It's well bowled and well played. That was uh, pretty full as well. Just a single and he's missed it. Well, will they get three? He's given away uh, two runs there. That's uh, not very clever fielding. The captain's not happy. In fact, uh, all of them a little unhappy with that. I suppose uh, sometimes you can put it down to uh, over-enthusiasm, but he's got too much experience for that. One-handed, and oh dear. This is the last ball of the innings. Full class, up she goes. This is going to have to get caught by someone. The captain says it's mine, and he's got it. Lovely taken by Wazim Akram. The ball went miles up in the air. They needed to catch it to 
see to it that that run didn't uh, get added to the total. So Wazim Akram called for it, took it. Pakistan are very happy, I should think, with their performance in the field. 227 for six. This is the wicket again. Flat full stop, full, full toss again. Robbie Singh looking for the big shot, looking for the boundary. Akram calls it. There were people around him, he's called it. That's mine. That's the end of the Indian innings. It's a worker, 227 for six. Back to Old Trafford, the halfway mark of this enthralling fixture between India and Pakistan. There's already plenty of rivalry between these two sides, but India today need to win it to maintain any chance at all of making the semi-finals of the World Cup 99. Srinath now in from the city end. Uh, that's going to be four runs from the first ball of the innings. Side Anwar wasting absolutely no time getting in amongst it. That's through the infield again, that's four more. The Pakistani support is ecstatic. Well, it's only four from this over so far. He's had a couple of balls that he could have driven and put away. Said Anwar. Again, not this one, not timed to his very best. The intent was there. He's got enough bat on it to run it over this outfield. I have to say, I think it's a mistake, this in the Indian camp. It goes away quickly as well. Gone this time. The tall Kumble takes that comfortably. Afridi goes. Srinath picks up the wicket. So at last, some joy for India. Well, we're talking about flashing, flashing hard, Bob. It's out there, it's a bit short. I'm trying to play with a straight bat, and that might have led to the downfall. It's a good catch in the end. Anil Kumle, reaching high above his head, takes a good catch. Freedy has gone for seven, sorry, for six, rather, and it's 19 for one. Balance of power swings again. It's Ijaz Ahmed at uh, first wicket down for Pakistan. 30 years of age now. It's the way through extra cover. Ijaz didn't need uh, any warming up blows. The adrenaline's really pumping here, Ian. Well, it's not bad, is it? That's, I'll just have a look at it. I'll just hit it for four. Beautifully placed again by Anwar. Pendulka's sprinting after it. If anyone can stop it, he can. But it's three more to Pakistan. short again to another Anwar boundary Mohamed Azruddin is going to have to do something about this he can't afford uh, these runs it's racing away here Pakistanis and Saeed Anwar who's struggled in this World Cup for form we said uh, to the Raj, Raja about it and we both felt that this is the kind of wicket that could just get him back into a bit of form Oh, well bowled. That's a good delivery. Bit of bounce there for him as well. He's... It's 41 for one. Oh, he's had a go at that. That's out. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, I don't believe it. He's dropped a little dolly. Well, I cannot believe that... Uh, that one went down. It was off, uh, well, it must have been the splice of the bat and a bit of edge as well. And it's gone straight in and straight out. Well, 
gone straight in and popped out a few times. Well, you can't win matches if you're going to drop simple catches like that. Uh, Ijaz Ahmed just getting a little frustrated, trying to take advantage of the 15 overs field restriction. And this is as simple as they come. Well, there is pain. Oh, that's got to be close. Well, for a second, I thought he was gone. He must have hit the inside edge. Well, we've got to have another look at the bowler reaction. <laughs> that was unbelievable. This youngster has bowled so well, and uh, he's created this opportunity. This is the catch itself off the inside edge, and uh, this is the drop catch in, and then in again, and then out. And you watch how the bowler thinks that he's got him there. Is it in? Is it out? No, it's not. It's down. And that's the reaction. That is painful. Dorwin again. That time beating Anwar. Well, one has to say that uh, Mahanti is coming on in leaps and bounds. In the air, got him. Yes, caught. Doesn't drop many. The captain, Mohammad Azraddin, taking that one as clean as a whistle. Beautifully bowled. Just a little push there to a whitish delivery by Ijaz. And that's the wicket the Indians wanted. Ijaz has played uh, many of fluent innings against India. This one wasn't uh, one of them. Just fending at a delivery outside the option. That was a very sharp catch. It went to him at great speed. Went at comfortable height, all right, but still it had to be taken. These catches, Srinath has struck for India. Ijaz Ahmed is out for 11 and Pakistan 44 for two. Well, this is interesting. Salim Malik has been pushed up the batting order um, ahead of Inzamam al Haq, who uh, damaged his finger taking a catch. So Inzamam. Um, He's up there. I'm not sure he's got his pads on or not. I suspect that he's got to come in next. In the meantime, it's going to be Salim Malik who's uh, taking over. Well, once again, uh, the question asked. They're certainly uh, going up for the LBWs. But, uh, no joy from the umpire so far. Indians are looking to get another wicket. Very, very keen. They know that the only way they'll stop the Pakistanis from scoring is by picking wickets. Uh, the ball uh, would have gone down the leg side. You can see the off stump clearly when uh, the ball has hit. In the air, just short. Just short. Well, he stood himself a little bit wider there. That's the end of the over. It's uh, 48 for two and uh, a big uh, chance that one. It went in the air. Should the wee keeper have gone across to his right? Let's have another look. Yes, once again, a little bit short. Salim Malik does play with an open face pad and you can see the ball landing well short of uh, Mamad Azaruddin. Well, there's the drive. He's been waiting for the opportunity to get that drive away. Plays it very well. It's gone all the way to the boundary. Good shot. That's a very good shot, and it's brought up the 50 for Pakistan. Well, there has been a fair bit of sunshine uh, in the last hour or so, which will have dried up the outfield, which wasn't the case earlier on. The outfield was a bit damp, so the ball did quite always go past the boundary, though. But you can see from uh, here that the ball is beginning to travel just a little bit more now. That will make the Indian task of defending the 227 that much harder. Oh, a bold. He's given him, that's it. When, you, when he waits, you've got to be very, very careful the finger doesn't come up because he gives it a lot of thought and up she came. And, uh, well, it looked, it looked very adjacent. It must have nipped back a little bit. He was only pushing half forward. That's a huge wicket for India. Salim Malik just beginning to look as if he meant business, but he's now gone. Well, this is the one that has nipped back in. It's wicket to wicket, all right. It's hit him around the knee roll. And umpire Buckner thinking, 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 and then he decides in the bowler's favor. 
Malik out for six. It's 52 for three. Inzaman al Haq has arrived at the crease. Over the top. Well, he's uh, made the most of that one. One bounce over the rope. Keen to uh, re-establish his authority on proceedings. Good shot from Saeed Anwar. Normally he does play across the line when he's trying to hit the ball through the onside, but uh, on this occasion went straight with the shot. Just a little close face of the bat, but middled it quite nicely. Picked it up uh, from his off stump, but went a long way. That beautifully. Just had to hold back on the shot a little bit. He was almost early on the shot, almost hitting it up a slit through the covers. Check the shot just in time. Consecutive boundaries for Saeed Amr. He's well into the 30s now. Well, looked a glorious shot in the end. This was a little tentative initially, but it stroked it so beautifully and in the gap. And it raced to the boundary. That is a stunning slip catch from the Indian captain, Mohamed Azaruddin, flinging himself to his right. That ball was travelling at speed. That's the second very good catch he's taken in the slips this afternoon. What a moment for him. What a wicket for India. Say then we're again perishing to Prasad. Not pegging the line there, playing away from the body. And a brilliant catch by Azaruddin. Diving. Keeping his eyes on the ball, that's an important breakthrough for the Indians. He's gone for 36 and Pakistan now lose their fourth wicket for 65. India were 90 for one after 20 overs. The mountain for Pakistan to climb here. Their lower middle order has uh, performed very well for them in this uh, World Cup. Wasim Akram and Moen Khan, although uh, Yusuf Yohana is an absentee today. Just a problem behind the uh, bowler's arm down at the Warwick Road, road end. The uh, wind is... Uh, really whipping across the ground and that uh, black sheeting above the permanent sight screen must be very very distracting indeed there we go sun shining on the window right at the top that's in that press box area But India working tremendously hard in this game. I thought they did well to get to 227. That's straight through point for four. Too short and too wide from Prasad. Well, Pakistan needed that. I mentioned that that line and that length have been exemplary. And Prasad this time. Short and wide. Crashed away just behind square on the offside. Allowed him to get his arms through the ball. He's never stopping that. It's the first boundary for 29 balls. <laughs> Big shot and gone. The finger goes up from uh, David Shepherd as I'm a mood on his way. Anil Kumbli strikes in his second over. As has gone for 10. Pretty good stuff by India too. The crowd's ecstatic. They've come right back into this and that's bounce. Not spin, that's bounce. You can hear the nick. And he's taken an excellent catch there, Mongia. Maybe Shepard knows. Asim Mahmood's on his way for 10. And it's 78 for 5. 
Well, this man, Moen Khan, is having a devastating uh, World Cup. His uh, exploits with the bat have been really explosive. Oh! Well, almost an action replay. It's pretty difficult uh, cutting that uh, bouncing ball. Combley's a tall man, he gets uh, bounced from a very good length. Fantastic fielding's a problem again with the running, with uh, Inzamam involved. Moen wanted the single. Inzamam uh, with feet in setting concrete at the other end. He wasn't going anywhere. What an appalling runner he is. It's only a basis for re negotiation. Excellent fielding turn. Throw wasn't up to it, but my goodness. There's indecision there. Look, three quarters of the way. What do you mean, no? Back over the bowler's head. One bounce, four. The man is not going to do anything about the uh, scoring rate. Moen Khan is. Short step down the track, a lofted drive. Never a fielder directly behind the bowler. Fully authentic stroke. That's gone many a mile in the air. Srinath can't get there, can't get underneath it. And the ball pitches and stops. The 100 is up for Pakistan. There are five fielders in the circle, so Moin Khan uh, quickly seizing the opportunity to go over the top of uh, Midan. And very, very good running between the wickets, bringing the Pakistan 100 up. behind on the comparison after 30 overs India were 119 for three Pakistan are 103 for five That's it! Daniel Kumble very animated in his appeal well that's the first really powerful shot he's attempted he hit it with some power and uh, fortunately for Anil Kumble, the stumps intervened, otherwise that was uh, definitely four. Dead straight, back down the ground. First time really that Inzamal has come down the crease, attempted to do anything at all with the bowling of Anil Kumble. Confusion, and Moen Khan uh, quick enough, even though he hesitated halfway down. Moen decided to keep coming and was probably shouting for all his worth to get Inzimam to move and avoid the potential for yet another run out. Well, Inzimam did not uh, really want to go for the run until Moen Khan pushed him. That's gone quite a long way over the top. That's uh, into the crowd at deep mid-wicket. Nicely taken, I think, also in the crowd, but Moen Khan not at all afraid to play these shots from the chances there. That's the swing that he used so effectively against the South Africans. Well, that's gone very fine. Prasad coming round, he won't make it. No, Srinath. What a cheeky shot this is. Just a little glance over there. Anil Kumble is the quickish leg spinner. And Mohan Khan using that pace to get uh, a leg glance boundary. Anil Kumble not uh, happy at all. short and uh, dealt with very effectively that's a good stop it's Mahanti down there he made quite a lot of ground 
from his position on the cover boundary. Three runs nonetheless. Well, that's a very good effort from Debashish Mohanty, the kind of effort the Indians will have to put up if they're going to stop Moin Khan uh, taking Pakistan to a victory. What Moin does uh, so well, and look at that stop, brilliant. There's a man at deep square, there's a man at long legs, that's straight to him, that's taken. Sachin Tendulkar has got the catch, and the ploy has worked. Two balls into the over, Prasad has managed to work out how to get rid of Moen Khan. Wasn't a great shot, it was just help round the corner, he didn't get on top of it, and it went straight into the hands of Sachin Tendulkar. Well, off the front foot he's uh, hit that ball so well. The half pull, half hook shot, but here he had to transfer weight onto the back foot. Wasn't quite able to keep the ball down. Such Tendulkar doesn't miss uh, such sim simple offerings, and he knows that it's a very, very big wicket. The dangerous Moin Khan, 33 of 35, 37 deliveries. Pakistan, six wickets for 124. Abdul Razak comes in at the fall of the wicket of Moen Khan. That's a big wicket for the Indians. Well, speaking of sixes, Razak, he doesn't look too steady on his foot, and I think he's actually hurt himself playing that shot. And uh, I think he might well have uh, he injured his calf before. But I think this is uh, quite a serious injury. Was in Akram? We were worried. I think he might have, whatever he's aggravated, I think he might have uh, finished the job off. This was a lovely hit from Razak, picking it from middle in off stump, hitting it high in the air, but uh, easily clearing the boundary. That is a crucial wicket. Not the most sensible shot from Razak. Why he didn't try and give Inzam in the strike, I don't know. Just looked to run it. That was just an old-fashioned Pivo or slog. It was uh, a point towards mid-wicket. Didn't connect, but Srinath connected. But the middle stump uprooted. And that's a breakthrough uh, that the Indians were looking for. Razak gone for 11 and Pakistan 146 for 7. Pakistani captain was in Akram. Well, we feel that Pakistan can get up and win this game. Two men at the crease now have got to do it. Steve Buckner letting Srinath get away with that. Asking his side and finding one that's cleaner but of similar wear. Mallinder leaves with the spare balls and Smith will now continue. That's a big shout, but he's always going to struggle to get any LBW to a right hander from bowling at that wide angle round the wicket. Leg by, it's 147 for seven. Here and that's well played straight down the ground. Will they come back for the second line turn? Back comes Ozzy uh, Macram for two. So there's a sense of urgency about his running between the wickets. Oh, and that's beaten the keeper. I think there was some bat in that one. And away she goes for four. Yes, four run signal just out of reach of Mongia. It came diving across. I don't think he. Uh, he got anywhere near it, actually. I think it probably bounced just before his glove, in any event. It was a good effort, desperate four for Pakistan. Him's a man, genuine edge, and he's got a hand to it. He's just a little man, but he's a wonderful keeper. Oh, he's got that one away nicely, but it's uh, spinning away. Oh, desperate fielding down at the boundary. The ball's bobbling around all over the way. Mahanti down there, getting the throw in. He's done some good work in the outfield, actually. And there's one over the top of cover as well. Oh, it's gone all the way. He's hit that right in the middle of the bat. Did it reach the fence? Perhaps not. In fact, the umpire is saying four. It uh, wasn't far away. What a good shot. Well, that's the end of the over. It's 166 for seven. Oh, 
Well, that's outside the line, just outside the line. Yes, he's given him, he's nodded and he's given him out. Just for a second, I thought he'd got his uh, front pad outside the line. That's a huge wicket. Hins and Mom trying to get that one away on the onside. It stayed down just a little bit, thumped into his pad, and the umpire thought he was out. And it's that Mum Prasad again. He's had a terrific game. He's come back and responded to his captain's call every time. Straight, gun barrel straight. Taking the liberty, hitting across the line in Zaman. That's as straight as they come. Steve Buckner nodded first and then that's out. In Zaman goals. 41 in 93 before the wicket. 175 for eight now. So Sucklane Mushtak has arrived at the crease now. I remember he had a problem with his right knee. And uh, he's out there, no runner. is get themselves within uh, perhaps two overs or two overs of the end and then have two great overs say something like 20 to get off two overs it seems that that's probably their best chance because uh, they've got one to come oh he's given him he's given him out he's given him out lbw well i'd be interested to see that replay he does get a lot of bounce cumbly and he looked to me as if he was forward given out lbw that's a huge blow. It's as dead as a doornail for me. Dead straight, looking on the leg side again. Akram's at the other end. I can't believe it. Push for one. Get yeah, Akram there. Here he is, Cumbly, straight, no spin. They don't come any straighter than that. They just be sliding down leg side, but he thinks it's absolutely gun barrel straight. Straight enough for him, straight enough for me. He doesn't like it, but he's on his way. Yes, uh, well, interesting one. Saclane on his way. <laughs> You're right about that. Four balls for naught. LBW ball, Kumbli. And it's 176 for nine. Can he provide the support his captain needs? We'll take a, a minor miracle from here. Well, that one's gone fine. It'll go all the way to the boundary. That's four. Probably leg buys, was it? I think just a little flick of the thigh pad down to the fence for four. Uh, five or six of those. And um, the Pakistanis will start to get excited again. He's hit that one. This could be out court. That's it. All over. Beautifully taken down on the boundary. That's the end of the game. The Indians have won a very, very good victory here. Well, the scenes, <laughs> they're coming on from all over the place. And uh, one of the players down there, one just has to hope that uh, no one gets hurt here. That's <laughs> Shadeja, he looks as if he's got a smile on his face, he's OK. Wasim, you must be disappointed. You've lost three on the trot now, and uh, this semi-final place is in a bit of jeopardy, isn't it? I think so. I think uh, we make, make th things difficult for ourselves. The whole team, we have to really work hard against Zimbabwe because they are playing well and they've got one point of the day. So I think uh, we have to really work hard to qualify for the semis now and I'm very happy for us and Indian team. The way they played, they showed they were better side today. Yeah, you were, you were OK, weren't you? And, and keen to bat second today. Yeah, it just didn't work for you. No, it didn't. We have to just learn to occupy the crease of 50 overs and that's all, I think. Hopefully we're going to make, uh, we, we learn from our mistakes in future game against Zimbabwe. And we just have to take responsibility and I think uh, everybody's down. They, they'll come back hard now. You've been doing a lot of talking uh, to your players, haven't you, over the last uh, two or three games. You've got some more talking to do to G them up for the next game now. I think now theory should be just leave them on their own and let them think. And I think uh, they're quite capable of coming back. And uh, I, have, I have full belief in them. We had our three bad games. But now, like I said, we made ourselves uh, uh, very difficult for qualify for the semis. But now we have to work very hard to qualify. OK, thanks very much, Waz. You've, uh, you've contributed to a very good game today. Hard luck. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to have a quick chat now with uh, Mohammed Azaruddin, the captain of the victorious Indian side. Well done, Azar. You must be delighted. You've, uh, you're still in with a chance of qualifying for the semi-finals. Well, yeah, I think uh, the boys really played well today. I think it was a total team effort. Everybody stuck to their job. 
and then we were very optimistic when we went to the field. We needed a lot of uh, quick wickets early on, but uh, we still we kept getting wickets uh, that were, that has uh, made the victory possible. And uh, some tremendous bowling from Prasad uh, and all the bowlers, Srinath, Monty, everybody contributed to this win. Yeah, you put the pressure on your bowlers because you'd chosen to to uh, to bat first, which I thought was a brave decision, but it worked out very well for you. Yeah, I think we I definitely felt that we were about 25 runs short, but uh, anyway, I mean I have no complaint now. We won the game, and uh, I think the boys really stuck to the pressure and they came out. Uh, I mean, on a winning note. Now, what about the atmosphere here today? It's been pretty special, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's been good, you know. It's always been good when India and Pakistan play. So I'm quite happy with that. OK, well, good luck uh, in your next game. You've still got a chance of qualifying for that semi-final. Thanks very much. Thank you.